Hey, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's so weird to say that. I am here to introduce my new show or new series to you called The Bread Isle. Um, hashtag it's the Bread Isle. This series is dedicated to my fellow black women. So The Bread Isle is really about recognizing that black women, we are not a monolith. If you think about when you're at a grocery store, or your supermarket, or wherever you're at, or maybe you shop on Amazon or, or, or Whole Foods or Instacart, but there's a bread aisle, right? You go to the bread aisle, there's pita, there's wheat bread, there's English muffins, there are bagels, there's low carb tortillas, there's spinach wraps, right? There's, I could go on, right? Um, but the point is that there's bread, right? And they all serve a purpose. And at the end of the day, most of them are, are purchased and consumed at some point by some people, right? And so it's the same thing when it comes to people, but in this context, I'm talking more specifically about black women. So when it comes to us black women, we're not a monolith, right? There's room for us all. So the bread aisle is us, the bread, making room and finding our place in our space, right? And not being afraid. So this series is dedicated to black women. It is for black women with the intention of sharing our knowledge, sharing experiences, um, you know, looking to identify where we differ, where we have similarities, um, ranting, kicking and screaming if we need to, crying, whatever it may be, right? But just creating a space for us to just be honest and open with each other and receptive to the wide variety of, of, of perspectives and skill sets and experiences that we carry and recognizing that, you know, beyond what the outside world is showing us and telling us about ourselves and our identity, we can create what we want internally within our own community, right? But again, recognizing that being a black woman is just one part of our identities, right? We all have to be mindful of the intersectionalities that we carry, the differences that we carry, but recognizing that is something to embrace, right? To feel empowered by, because I think the more we can come together collectively with all our differences and experiences, knowledge, etc., we could do a lot, right? Um, and in a world where, in a world where our mere existence is so threatening for people, just, it, it's mind blowing sometimes, right? I don't talk about these things a lot, especially um, in the work that I do, which is primarily um, being a diversity, equity, and inclusion consultant. Um, I, I, my approach to my work is very, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I, I like to separate. I don't completely separate from from the job, but I don't insert myself a lot when I'm talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion because I recognize that term. Um, to be more than just me and me being a black woman, right? Or whatever other identifiers that I carry. I see it as so much more than that. And so it's very rare that I insert myself and really get in to some of the experiences I've had. So um, this series, in this series, you're also gonna hear a little bit of that too. And I, I hey, I'm, I'm gonna be very candid and honest. Not that I'm not any other time, but I'm certainly not gonna be holding back in this series. A lot of it is gonna be unscripted. It's gonna be fun. There might be some laughter, some crying. Who knows, but here we are. It's the bread aisle. Um, I'm here to uh, just create more space for black women of all varieties, for my nerds, for my city girls, for my glam girls, to my whoever you are. If you identify as a black girl, I want you to come through um, and, and be a part of this community. So it's the bread aisle. I hope you subscribe. I'm going to aim to do new episodes every week, but bear with me if not. Um, uh, but that is the goal. Y'all hold me accountable. A goal without a plan is just a wish. That's a quote that I've heard many, many times. And that I think about very, very often. And I live by, um, I can say, I want something. I want to achieve something. I want to buy something. I want to try something. I want to go somewhere. But if I don't have a plan to get there, I'm just wishing, right? So appreciate you following, liking, subscribing, all that stuff, telling your friends, telling your colleagues about the bread aisle for black women by black women. See you soon.